Crane Foundation was started in 1973 by two graduate students, George Archibald and Ron Sowie. Uh, they kind of bonded over their love of cranes and their concern that not much was known about cranes in the wild or the status of them or how to care for them in resident populations. Um, so they decided to form an organization dedicated to the study and preservation of cranes and the landscapes that they are a part of. And we've really since grown from there. Uh, next year will be our 50th anniversary as a nonprofit organization. Uh, and we have really expanded our reach far beyond Baraboo, Wisconsin. We work all over the world on all five continents where cranes are found uh, and are involved in everything from field research to breeding, um, just to education and outreach. Uh, so we have a lot of different, different aspects of our organization. So we're the only place in the world that you can see all 15 species of cranes in one location. Uh, obviously we have the two North American species, the sandhill crane and the whooping crane, uh, but then we have all the cranes from all over the world. Um, we care for about 100 birds in total here on our site and raise chicks every year, particularly for our whooping crane population for release into the wild uh, to help out that endangered species. Um, so yeah, just a whole variety of cranes here that you can see. They're a really good conservation species in that um, you can protect them and they're, they're visible, people can pick them out on the landscape, but when you protect them, you help to protect all these other species that are not as visible and aren't as charismatic. You know, cranes are really colorful, big, bright, beautiful birds that they dance, they, they call, it's very loud and very in your face. Um, and I think that's what kind of draws people to them and then People have different reasons that they love different species. It kind of varies from individual to individual. Um, but I think the biggest draw is that, yeah, they're just these really big birds on the landscape that are so charismatic and kind of stand out from the landscape that they're in.